Hello, my friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews with your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast, the most accurate educational fun weather you can possibly find. And you can tune in live on Facebook if you just search the Weathertainment fan page and like it, and then you get notified that we're on live. And it's always available on the website, cnyweathertainment.com. Here is your trivia question. It's an audio daily double. Ooh, it's exciting, right? It's an audio daily double, so it's musical. It's a music lyric, and go-kart Mozart was checking out the weather chart to see if it was safe outside. What's the name of that song? Is it Stuck in the Middle with You by Steeler's Wheel, or is it Stairway to Heaven with Led Zeppelin, or Blinded by the Light, or Elton John's Rocket Man? Think about it. We'll come back. Three weather headlines drizzle, changing to flurries on Wednesday, but no accumulation. The temperatures are going to warm up each day, and the next polar plunge doesn't occur until the end of January. It does not show up in the temp trend for the next seven days. 38, 39, 42, 44, 45. The only precept being flurries on Wednesday and then again on the following Monday, some rain. Short story. We have an area of lower pressure that has three distinct air masses surrounding it. The cold one that allowed the freezing rain and drizzle for Tuesday morning and early afternoon the warmer one where the warmer air never really quite got in. And since the storm came from Texas, it did not come from a point of origin that has very cold air, so the air behind it is cool, not cold. So when that area of high pressure builds in Thursday afternoon and night, it will not bring colder air. Here's a look at the weather map from Monday. You can see the two storms over Texas and Oklahoma. The northern fringe being freezing rain, sleet, and snow. Then Tuesday, moving up into Kansas and the Windy City. And then Tuesday night, you can continue to see it progressing up into New England, where the mix continued on the fringe, the showers into Tuesday evening, winnowing down to just flurries in the forecast behind the storm for Wednesday. So, that's the big picture. The closer view shows the snow and freezing rain that plague central New York until the early afternoon hours and then diminishing to light rain showers Tuesday night. But as that storm moves through and the cool front dries the air out and cools it off slightly, we're just left with lingering flurries for Wednesday. Look at how close he got on the high and low versus the forecast. This is the actual, this is what I predicted. 36 versus 37, 18 versus 18. Whew. And I can update the precip to 45 one hundredths of an inch. Almost all liquid, but there was freezing for several hours Tuesday morning and early afternoon. Now, why do I point out the forecast was accurate or not? Because if I can't convince you, how can I convince people who don't know me or haven't seen me before? But if I can convince you, then maybe you'll share it with your friends and neighbors and say, hey, this guy really is freakishly accurate. So that's why I put this category in to show you how it turned out versus what I predicted. Meanwhile, the record high and the record low, which occurred on my birth year, I've got to tell you what year that is, stay in the books. We've gained about five minutes total in the sunrise part of the day, but we have gained a bunch on the sunset, getting us to nine hours and 27 minutes, and that means we'll gain a minute for Wednesday. Back to the trivia question. And go-kart Mozart was checking out the weather chart to see if it was safe outside. Of weather-related lyric. What's the answer? It is not Rocket Man. It is also not Stuck in the Middle with You, which leads us to Stairway to Heaven, kind of a weatherish type of song, or Blinded by the Light, and it turns out it is Manfred Mann. That's the song, Blinded by the Light. I love that lyric. Hey, you're going to love CNYWeatherTainment.com's partner page. Great products you can purchase through the website to support Weathertainment. Wednesday's forecast. Clouds, a few flurries, a high in the upper 30s. Wednesday night. Cloudy, maybe a few flurries, but basically just cloudy. Low around 30. So 38 Wednesday, 30 at night. Thursday, 39. Clouds in the morning and then clearing up later in the day. So don't count on much sun until 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon when it begins to break through. High, getting a little bit closer to 40. I think we get there on Friday when it's pretty bright out all day. High about 42, a little less sunny on Saturday, but still partly, and then mostly sunny again on Sunday. The next rain is Monday. That's your five-day forecast. Make it a great day.